GIS applications. One thing you can do with GIS software is view imagery. Many people use the GIS to look at satellite imagery or have it as a background to their maps. If you'd like to learn more about this type of data and what else can be done with it, come check out our remote sensing workshops. We have materials saved on our GIS website in the previous workshop section. You can also create 3D models and custom visualizations. In this example, buildings in New York City have been color coded by land use and extruded vertically by height. It is also possible to create animations over time and record video fly-throughs on your map in a GIS. There are also many other 3D softwares that you can use, including AutoCAD, Rhino, PhotoScan, and more. If you're an MIT affiliate, you can access these in the GIS and Data Lab. Creating maps is what most people think of as the main application of a GIS. They can be used to share information, where design is important, and even play a persuasive role. In this map, see how the creator chose green for Irish ancestry, with a darker shade of green for a higher percentage. However, the real power in a GIS comes from the many tools for working with spatial data. Some tools act upon the geometry, such as the clip tool on the far left. In this example, a watershed layer for New England in the United States has been clipped down to the boundary of the state, Massachusetts. Other tools can create new data, such as the buffer tool on the bottom right. In this example, an island has multiple rings around it that signify the various distances from its center. Another type of tool can act on data values, such as the spatial statistics tools, shown in the top right. Here the tool shows where the values have hot and cold spots and how statistically significant they are. To learn more about what tools are available, see the materials from our JS Level 2 workshop, available on our website.